You've served in the military for 26 years. You've served in combat. Yeah. Why now? Like it's not just as a commander that I speak, but it's as a survivor uh, that I, I just felt I, I, needed to, I needed to talk about it. But it isn't about me. I wanted to give the perspective of why I am advocating so strongly uh, for our women in the military and why I'm advocating uh, that the command chain uh, has to step up and do their job uh, to rid us of sexual assault. Was it difficult for you to say it publicly in a forum like that? It, it, you know, it was. It brings back the, the very real uh, memories and uh, the realities of it all, but I'm glad I did. Do you think the prevalence of sexual assault and abuse in the military is a national security threat? I do. I do. For sure, I don't want people to think like, well, maybe it's just all these problems we have now that are women in the military. Think about it. If you have a predator, if you have a rapist who's serving in uniform, you don't deal with it by keeping a woman out of their unit because that predator is going to go assault someone else.